What's up guys, welcome to 41st review tutorial. This is Shrix from SmartHerd. And in this tutorial, I am going to teach you more about hashes and its method in Ruby. This is the part 4 of this hash tutorial guys. And this is the last tutorial. Now, now let's see how to delete a pair of key and value in the hashes. For that, we have a function. Let's say names dot delete this delete function contains a parameter key we have to write the key here let's write let's delete Adam we don't like Adam let's delete it funky now sorry now let's write put us names dot inspect let's inspect the hash now let's save it and execute it yeah here we go when this statement is executed, this key value funky contains the value Adam. So, names funky equal to Adam, both the key and value pair gets deleted. So, when you write names.inspect, when we inspect this hash, we are left with only Clever Jones, Hot Julia, Sporty Beckham. We got rid of this funky Adam. We don't like it. Now, let's use another method to delete the pair. Let's write names dot shift. Now let's save it and execute it. Let's see what's going on. Let's say yeah. We are here left with hot Julia, funky Adam, sporty Adam. Now what the heck? Where this clever equal to Jones has gone? Now names dot shift method actually deletes this the first pair in the hash. The first pair in the names hash is Clever and Jones. So the first pair gets deleted and we are left with second, third and fourth hash. Sorry, second, third and fourth pair of values and keys. Now there is a third way also. Names dot we can also write the condition. Delete if within the curly braces. We have to write key comma value just two variables in which the key and value will be there then if key equal to equal to let's say hot now let's save it and execute it and let me tell you what is going on here yeah we are left with clever jones funky adam and sporty beckham now hot equal to julia gets removed got deleted why because this is our conditional statement names dot delete if this is key and value within the bars there's a bar sign which is found below the backspace now this key contains all the values of clever hot funky sporty and this value getting the data of jones julia adam bacon now when key equal to equal to hot then delete that key value pair so this hot and julia gets deleted now let's write like this value if value equal to equal to let's say adam now let's save it and execute it yeah when value equal to equal to adam so adam and funky pair gets deleted and we are left with this clever jones hot julia and sporty beckham like this now this was the three methods delete shift and delete underscore if to delete a key value pair now let's see how to add a pair of values in the names hash now let us define another hash let's say names equal to hash dot new now sorry this time let's say people hash yeah let's say people dot store this is the third way of inputting the key and value pair as we discussed in the 38th tutorial let's say dwarf who is dwarf let's say smith fine then again people dot store now let's say tall who is tall let's say yeah dave people dot 
store again key value pair this time fat fat is I think Gracie yeah let us now inspect it put as names dot inspect then put as people dot inspect now let's save it and execute it yes here we go all the data are now clear whatever we have inputted are then stored in either names or people like this names hash then people hash now we are good to go now how to merge these two hashes together let's write let's discuss the merge function merge function now let us define a hash let's say my hash my hash equal to names dot merge now this merge func function takes a parameter which is a hash let's say people now let's inspect this my hash what we are getting in the my, my hash put as my hash dot inspect now let's save it and execute it yeah here we go this what we're getting is clever jones hot julia funky adam sporty beckham dwarf smith tall dave fat greasy like this now what is happening here guys we have defined the two hashes names and people like this now my hash is third hash which is getting the merged value of these two hashes names dot merge people this is merging names and people together and storing it in my hash now let us inspect put as names dot inspect and put as people dot inspect now let's save it and execute it yeah the my hash gets a merged value of names and people then names hash remains as it is and then people hash remains as it is like this its originality is sustained now let us now check out merge exclamation function what is the difference between merge and merge exclamation now let us change it to merge exclamation here just add exclamation let's comment it first then comment it first let's save it and execute it yes we are getting the my hash the same as we were getting before my hash gets the merged value of this names and this people hash these two names and ha people hash merged together and are stored in this my hash as we were getting out before now let's uncomment this names people and people dot inspect like this save it and execute it yes what the heck this is the merged hash of this names and people then second statement is names dot inspect now when we are using merge exclamation function then this names and my hash becomes same whatever we are getting at the left hand side of this merge exclamation are all same but this people hash didn't change it sustained its originality like this people dwarf smith tall dave and fat gracie so this is the difference between the merge and merge exclamation now let's check i think update update yeah let's just replace it by update yeah let's save it and execute it yeah here we go this update function and merge exclamation function are synonyms right because in both the case we are getting the same output names and my hash are getting changed and this people which is right hand side is which is taken as a parameter in the update function is remains as it is now let's move forward and talk about now let's deal delete this hash also let's read all the stuffs we are now having the names hash only now let me tell you about ASSOC function now what the heck what is that just I will show you this asoc function returns the value either nil or 
it returns a key value pair now let's see how to use it let's write names dot assoc within the parameter we just have to write the key name let's say hot yeah let's write put as names as sock dot hot let's save it and execute it yeah this returns the two value this is the array of value hot julia it returns a key value pair now it actually checks if the this key is present here in the hash or not yes hot is present so it returns a key value pair hot julia like this hot julia now what if if i write here value julia let's save it and execute it no it it gives no output it is actually returning a nil value because here as a parameter we have to write what we just have to write the key not the value let's inspect it let's see if it is really returning nil or not yes it is returning nil because julia is a value not the key we have to insert the key here now guys let's see our r asoc function r asoc function yeah just add a prefix r here now let's check it out let's save it and execute it yes it is also returning a key value pair now the difference between r asoc and asoc function is that here within the parameter r asoc takes the parameter as value but asoc function takes the parameter as key so here we have to write value instead of key so what if if we write a key here let's write clever yeah let's save it and execute it yes it returns a nil so both are actually reverse of each other are a soak and a soak function so this is all about hashes guys hope you guys like my tutorial on hashes i have covered all the things almost all the things and if you are planning to become a ruby developer then these functions are really going to help you in future so please subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw and please leave a comment below my video this is shakes signing off